morning, Pastor Mike, Central Lutheran Church, Wichita, Kansas. My flight touched down at Chicago O'Hare, but I needed to get to Chicago Midway for the flight to Kansas City. How would I get from O'Hare to Midway? No problem. This computer in my hand has the solution. I just touch the Uber app and allow the location to find me outside the baggage area at the American Airline at O'Hare and that I need to go to Chicago Midway and voila, a person responds that he will take me. He's driving a silver Hyundai Sonata and he expects to be there in 15 minutes. Uber is an unusual name for a ride sharing business. Uber, as many of you probably know, is the German word for over, above, more than. Perhaps the idea was that people would receive transportation service over and above what one would get from a taxi cab and at a more economical price. From my experience, I would rather get an Uber than take a taxi. The word Uber, though, has become a part of our everyday language. When we want to describe something as over the top or excessive, we add Uber to it. The car ride was uber long. The party was uber fun. The thunder was uber loud. I'm uber tired. In our vernacular, uber means over the top, more than expected, excessive. Now, as people who have been given the gift of the Holy Spirit, who have been baptized, we have also received the uber grace that God pours out on us through His Son, Jesus Christ. God's grace is more than expected, certainly more than deserved. St. Paul writes in 1 Timothy chapter 1, Even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. The grace of our Lord was poured out on me abundantly, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Uber, over the top, excessive, more than expected, abundantly. That is God's grace in our lives. We can identify with St. Paul who called himself a blasphemer, a persecutor, and a violent man. We may not have been exactly those things, but we have our own faults. We were born laden with sin. We've been selfish, arrogant, evil in our thoughts, spewing venom from our lips, concerned with my feelings more than others, focused on what gain there is for me rather than what is best for most. This is who we are until we are shown mercy, until our Lord pours His uber grace into our hearts and lives, until He works His grace abundantly into our mind along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. So here's a little word association that could bless your heart and bless your day. Every time you hear the word uber, Think about the over-the-top, the more than expected, the abundant grace our Lord pours out on us. And realize you are blessed by the Father. It can change your whole day. May your day be uber-filled with the faith and love that are in Jesus.